And to go back to the same examples, we're gonna bring back now the poly note to CV. This is virtually the same except with additional connections. I'm gonna walk through connecting a couple of these oscillators here just to show what I might do here. And there's options, of course. I love seeing how people might do things differently too because we all come at this a little bit differently. And part of the fun is seeing if somebody does it a little bit more clever than you because we can all be a little bit academic about it and share some good ideas. So MIDI in here. And now let's just look at the first macro OSC. As you can see, it's virtually the same as the mono, except now you have your multiple gate and pitches that you can assign out. So for the oscillator, we're just going to assign that essentially in that regard. And you do have some options, for instance, like um, you could set up things to trigger with the gates and so forth. You know, that especially comes in handy with any drum pattern, oscillators, and things like that. I tend to put that gate control out to an envelope. And just to walk it through and say it aloud, I tend to do an envelope per oscillator, but I could be mistaken and there could be an easier way to do this overall. I just like to account for the individual note orders. And as you can see, I accidentally pressed something wrong there. So back to what's correct. Gate two. Macro OSC for pitch two. And you would follow the same kind of pattern to essentially get the, uh, the next oscillators hooked up. And I'll just do that quick. And then of course you wanna put in some VCAs and so forth. And that's similar to the other example. I'm just gonna walk through this little guy right there. And now you would connect the ADSR again to the VCA. That automatically connects to the gain input essentially at this point. I'm just moving that out the way so you can see better. Macro OSC, the out to the VCA. And you have a few options here. Just to slide these out the way, we're just gonna look at the macro OSC one of the four voice, four note, poly note to CV patch here. So you have a few options. You can put in filters, which obviously you have lots of great options. So you can put in a filter if you want. We'll go ladder again. And if it was me, I would probably put that into there and then you know you got some options to say the least you could pitch track it you could also use an envelope with it you could share the same envelope if you'd like and that can be pretty cool because you get a bit of the uh, attack swell along with the filter swell in the process and they would be lockstep with each other but it's simply put is one of those things that you can explore and make your own. And it's that easy. You can actually make those two connections right there. And you could repeat the same process for everything. To go back one extra step here, I'm just gonna load a previous preset. This is like the Julia Childs moment for anybody who gets the reference. I'm just going to the other oven with what we already cooked in advance. So this is just to show you a very basic idea. 
As you can see, I don't have any filters in there. I'm basically using the envelopes to swell the VCAs and um, I have one per, per note basically to get a four note polyphonic situation there. I'll show one more patch. So I wanted to show a bit of a crazier synth that I had put together at some point. And I uh, just wanna highlight a few different things just to say aloud, you can make this a lot trickier if you want to. So this is a patch I had uploaded onto patch storage. And if you notice, there are a few different things going on here. I'm gonna skim past a few things, but of importance, just wanna mention poly note to CV module to capture all that incoming MIDI, it's four notes. They go out to four different macro OSCs. Those VCAs are essentially being envelope controlled right there. Those four voices are all being fed into a single filter. And that also has an optional level control from the envelope, which I had it turned off in the, the save of the patch. But that being said, you can turn that back on. I also did add in things like a tap tempo foot switch A3 to go to the LFO and the LFO would go ultimately to the um, ladder pass filter basically. So I had an envelope on the filter. You can key track that filter and so forth but for the four note harmony stuff I just I wanted an overall situation for the envelope and and filter. Uh, but this is an example of something that you could do that's far more complex. And just to highlight a few settings in the poly, same as the regular MIDI note to CV, you can control your octave range and so forth. And this is particularly handy if you're building multiple synths into one patch with multiple MIDI channel controls. And again, here you can control the channel numbers and so forth. For the poly, you only need the one module for mostly any MIDI controller that you'd be using. Um, simply put, it handles the note priorities and so forth effectively. I want to also mention the macro OSC. On this one, I had the wave shaping oscillator as the preset uh, macro, but as you can see, there's some really awesome stuff to tweak. Under modulation, this is where you can have a lot of fun. I'm not going to play any sounds this morning, but I just want to show you guys where some stuff would be for you to be able to do this yourselves and have a really good time discovering what you can come up with. All these oscillators, you can actually have four different oscillators, one per note coming in. You could have the same note go to two different oscillators. You can really have a great time personalizing this. And then just to show another little detail here, within something like the, um, for instance, within the ADSR, you've got full control, just like everything else you would have been used to for other types of envelope situations. And the ladder is very straightforward. The ladder pass filter, ladder low pass filter is very straightforward. If any questions I can help with, please let me know. I've been having a great time building synths with this device. I've incorporated them into my main rig for specific songs and for also doing um, key patches, key experimental jams even. I have a bunch of fun presets. I will put more on patch storage, but I thought today was a good day to follow up yesterday's video with a little bit of information on how to put together some of the synths. Okay, real quick, here is also another patch. I haven't posted this one. Uh, it's really just something I was messing around with just to you know better understand certain things. But I wanna show this as for you guys to also see that you have so many options and 74% DSP usage, and there's still room to add things to this as you can see. But the basic premise is I have the drum patterns here feeding out to three macro OSCs and each one is a different part of the drum kit as you can see hi-hat bass drum and there's the snare so those are going out and you can have them go into modules in this case I had granular I had low pass I have an LFO onto the low pass and that's going out to a VCA for a proper level control just so I can blend it properly 
I tend to like those over wet dry stereo type modules. Uh, that's just my personal quirk. You could do it a variety of ways. But I wanted to point out, I also have the MIDI in as if it's a mono monophonic uh, synth being played here. And it's a basic subtractive synth. In that macro OSC, I have the pair of classic waveforms selected. And it's going, as you can see, straight into the VCA, but that's envelope controlled. And then I do have one more VCA because I, as I like to do, have a, a final level control. So here's a patch I made where I could screw around with drums and also basically play some keyboard.